This masala bindi recipe is healthy, quick and simple to cook for a regular meals. A very warm welcome to my channel, Time to Cook. You will need lady fingers, coriander, garlic and ginger chili paste. Pick young and tender bindi as they cook fast and taste good. Always wash and before chopping to remove maximum moisture, wipe them dry. Trim the edges and make a slit in the center and cut half inch. Don't chop too small or else they will be sticky while cooking. Whole chopping process complete previous day to remove maximum moisture. All basic and as easily available ingredients and each ingredient has its own unique flavor. Try not to skip any. And walnut I have crushed using chili cutter. You can use walnut or peanut as per your own preference. Set heat to medium high. To a pan heat oil and add carom seeds. Once they release nice aroma, add sesame seeds and wait until this splutters and turns golden brown. Add lady fingers. Mix everything nicely and cook on high flame for 5 minutes. Sprinkle salt over them for them to cook faster. Cover the lid and cook just for 3 minutes on medium flame. Now covering won't make them sticky because they are nicely roasted initially for 4 to 5 minutes so don't worry about that. First we dry roasted on high flame for 5 minutes till it's coated with oil and shrinks a bit and now on medium flame for 3 minutes. Lady fingers are most consumed vegetables in Indian cuisines and there are numerous ways to prepare them. Let's spice it up. To the same pan make little space and add oil and ginger chili paste press fresh garlic saute until raw smell of garlic and ginger goes away stir in turmeric powder red chili powder coriander and cumin seeds powder mango powder black salt sugar powder and crush fresh peppercorns add walnut or peanut powder Mix and saute all the spices and a very nice smell will be released while the spices are roasting on medium flame. Add salt, coriander leaves and pour 4 tablespoons of water. When we add water, the spices don't get burned and it will get nicely coated on the windy. You can add more oil if you want to. Add Kitchen King Masala and cook the masala for 2 minutes to bring out the flavors from the spices. While I do prepare it in several ways, this Mindy Masala recipe is my absolute favorite. It's pure and comfort food for me. Cover and cook on medium heat until lady fingers slightly become tender and a nice aroma comes out from it. Squeeze little lemon juice at last. This recipe is simple to cook and does not need much preparation. Finally, it's ready. Cover the lid and let it set for few minutes. Transfer to a bowl. This bindi masala can be served for lunch or dinner as well. It's dry so I usually wrap them in roti and pack it for lunch box with some salad. Bindi has immense health benefits and it holds as a daily meal recipe number 3 on my channel. So I hope this video has been informative to you and I would like to thank you for viewing. God bless, stay connected. Bye bye.